We just took a ride in one of Waymo's fully driverless vehicles here in the Metro Phoenix area. We've been testing our driverless vehicles here since 2017 at a small scale. And then over the last few months, we've been ramping up our operations and have begun to serve early riders. So if you're an early rider in our early rider program, you can get matched with one of our fully driverless cars as you're hailing a trip. Um, you'll get a notification in the app letting you know that you have been matched with one of these cars. It has no train driver up front or anywhere in the vehicle, um, and it'll take you to wherever you wanna go. So we're constantly testing and learning um, every single day, every single trip we do. Um, we kind of have a three-step testing process where we are constantly refining and improving our software. And so part of that is driving on public roads with trained drivers and testing our software and seeing different things um, and kind of taking those learnings and then putting them back into simulation. So we drive the equivalent of, um, we've driven the equivalent of 10 billion miles in a virtual world to kind of test our car in situations we see in the real world, but also situations you might not see in the real world and so it gives us practice with edge cases um, and so we can use that experience to improve our software and validate it as well before it ever hits public roads. So I don't think it's super new um, so the cars can honk in certain situations um, where you know another driver might have done something abruptly um, and they just want to let them know you know hey I'm here um, and so they'll do that but our driver is a pretty polite driver so um, they don't do that super often but another feature kind of related to the honk thing is actually in our app now something we've added in the past year is that riders, um, when they're waiting for their car at pickup, they can actually honk the horn. So they can honk the car's horn from the app and the car's horn will honk, and then they can locate it by sound that way. Um, that's also really helpful for low vision users too, to kind of uh, have that audio cue to find your car, uh, maybe in a crowded parking lot or something like that.